or responding to situations, the CSIR's Building and Roads Research Institute, BRRI, in Kumasi indicates it has the capacity to handle them via drone technology. Flight drone or quadrupter skips the drudgery associated with human labor and compresses time to be spent in manual systems. Napoleon Atukito reports. Information Communication Technology, ICT, gave rise to the term Global Village. The dawn of the information superhighway delivered news with speed, which were almost simultaneously received at geographically distant locations. Another plank of scientific advancement is the presence of satellites in the atmosphere. Satellites are artificial bodies placed in orbit around the Earth or Moon or another planet to collect information. The director of CSIR's Building and Rose Research Institute in Kumase, Ghana, Mr. Daniel Asensujembibi, breaks this down in a simple sentence. America has 25 satellites in the atmosphere. I mean, controlling all over the world. That's why you see on TV and you can see uh, Syria being bombed. From, nobody is sitting there and screening those things. They are all from the satellites. Technology has improved such that it's now in our hands. Unlike the satellite that is positioned in the atmosphere and left to act from a specific location, drones go airborne unmanned, but laser guided by human pilot from a source. The world becoming increasingly sophisticated, some advanced countries use drones or the unmanned aerial vehicle for bombings or to capture data. Staff of the Geomatic Engineering Department of the Building and Rose Research Institute in Kumase are masters in drone technology, though focuses on data collection only. We as planners, we as engineers, can use it even beyond that. We can integrate GPS with drone technology. And whilst the, the, what we used to do, demarcating land with surveyors going to the field, being attacked here and there, we can use a drone technology to do all the things that we used to do. Drone images are collected faster and are accurate. An activity that will have passed for three, four months by using surveyors. Drone technology compressed into just three hours. This depicts an area of about 5,000 acres in the Fumesia area on the eastern outskirts of Kumase where there had been land encroachment. In few hours, the BRRI mapped the area through drone technology. Where land topography hampers human accessibility, drone images can be collected, as was done of the Kibi Gulfos Kulak site by the BRRI. Engineer surveyor Na Lamkai Kwe Ballad of the BRRI is seen here marshalling her staff on drone trials. We use a, a consumer grade drone, a GPS and the modern softwares that will be able to analyze the data and give us an output that we want. On this auto photo, we have a drone image of a survey we did on the um, land for um, CSIR. To this CSIR Institute, drones will be the answer for many situations in Ghana that require speedier action in monitoring the geophysical space for timely decisions and actions. In Ghana, the technology has been applied on limited basis in aviation, mining, agriculture and health, where lately government introduced the act in delivering blood supplies. In hardcore investigations, the experts are firm a firm place for drone technology. Napoleon Atukitu okay. reporting.